Dave Chappelle's obsession with mocking trans people continues in the new Netflix special, The Dreamer. I love punching down, he says. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the face of somebody who likes punching down, I'll tell you that much. <clears throat> Maybe it's time for Dave Chappelle to try some new material. The comedian's newest special, The Dreamer, debuted on Netflix on December 31st and largely focuses on his early years in entertainment and how he manifested his success. But he floods the first 12 minutes of the set revisiting his favorite target in recent years, transgender people. Chappelle opening, opens the special by telling a story about visiting Jim Carrey while he was shooting the 1990 film, 1999 film Man on the Moon, where the actor famously went method on set, portraying comedian Andy Kaufman. Dave recalls being very disappointed that he spent the days uh, speaking to Carrie, pretending to be Kaufman, ending by saying, that's how trans people make me feel. So if you want, we can go ahead and just watch the bit. I have it pulled up here. Um, uh, no. Okay. This is the one. Let's watch this bit really quick and um, we'll react to it. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. The bit. Mar I think Miranda put it best. She said um, the anecdote about Man on the Moon was actually a pretty cool story until he managed to make it about his hatred of trans people. Yeah, I, I felt the exact same way. Those are my my exact thoughts. It's like you ripped them out of my brain and put them in yours. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how trans people make me feel. He then addressed the controversy surrounding his anti-trans material, saying, If you guys came here to the show tonight thinking I'm going to make fun of those people again, you've come to the wrong show. I'm not fucking with those people anymore. It wasn't worth the trouble. I ain't saying shit about them. Maybe three or four times tonight, but that's it. I'm tired of talking about them. And you want to know why I'm tired of talking about them? Because these people acted like I needed them to be funny. Well, that's ridiculous. I don't need you. I've got a whole new angle coming. You guys will never see this shit coming. I ain't doing trans jokes no more. He then said he was going to transition to joking about handicapped people instead because, quote, they're not as organized as the gays and I love punching down. <laughs> okay. A few minutes later, Chappelle revisited the topic, saying, To be honest with you, I've been trying to repair my relationship with the transgender community because I don't want them to think that I don't like them. You know how I've been repairing it? I wrote a play. I did. Because I know that gays love plays. It's a very sad play, but it's moving. It's about a black transgender woman whose pronoun is sadly... <laughs> not saying that. It's a tearjerker. At the end of the play, she dies of loneliness because white liberals don't know how to speak to her. It's sad. The only funny thing he said was his dead dad joke, but no one laughed at that one. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I did... I noticed that. That was part of the bit, wasn't it? Like, right at the beginning. No, oh, it was like the first time since his his dad has died, he smiled or something like that. And that was the joke because d he hated his dad, right? And he was happy when he died. Yeah, I think people literally spaced out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nobody laughed at that one. Well, I bet they had they had a they had a copy of the script and they they were uh, told to laugh at certain times, and that was not one of the times. <laughs> Later, he quipped, God forbid I ever go to jail, but if I do, I hope it's in California. Oh, actually, I have this bit pulled up, too. Let's go ahead and watch this one. I've already seen people on trans Twitter clipping the part where he says, wait. God, don't make me explain myself. I think I got, don't make me, come on. Come over here and suck this girl dick I got. <laughs> Come over here and suck this girl dick. People are already, like, clipping this and replying to people with it. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so we read, we read this. We watched that bit. Okay. Later in the special, Chappelle addressed when he was attacked on stage at the Hollywood Bowl in 2022 by an assailant with a replica gun that could discharge a knife blade. Wow. Fancy. What an interesting weapon. A gun that shoots knives. 
Chappelle recalled trying to diffuse tension after the incident with the joke, telling the audience it was a trans man, but he said it didn't go over well, given the audience's response of, boo, it's L.A., we like trans people. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> boo, it's L.A. One of the worst parts is I don't even think Dave Chappelle himself thinks these are funny. Dude sounds so exhausted. <laughs> True. Chappelle also said the attacker had a knife that identified as a gun, and I triggered them because I had done LGBTQ jokes, and it turns out this fellow was a B. He also noted, he also joked that knowing the attacker was bisexual, he could have been raped. Okay. <laughs> okay, Dave Chappelle. Oh my god. It's like a lot of the, the, the thing is you can joke about trans people, right? You can joke about trans people, but his material is just so out of touch. It's so outdated that it's like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's one of these jokes again. Great. <sighs> Shot at the Lincoln Theater in Chappelle's native Washington, D.C., The Dreamer is the comedian's seventh stand-up special exclusive to Netflix. Chappelle has been under fire over recent years for frequent comments regarding the transgender community, including his 2021 Netflix special, The Closer. The controversial material incited Netflix employee walkouts and protests in solidarity with the LGBTQ plus community. While Netflix's Ted Sarandos initially defended the comedian and his right to artistic freedom in a memo distributed amongst Netflix employees, he later said he screwed up in his reaction to the controversy. Uh, a picture of Sarandos and Chappelle smiling together is shown during the credits of The Dreamer. Wow, that's an interesting point. The steroids fucked up his voice. Skinny, high-pitched Dave was the true Dave. The CIA replaced him like Paul McCartney in 1968. <laughs> Even the comedians I watch on podcasts are sick of it. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's just the same tired bullshit. That's why it's not funny. It's not not funny because he's picking on trans people. You can joke about trans people. You can make funny jokes about trans people. But his jokes just aren't funny. And that's, I think that's why he gets a lot of flack for it. But either way, like talking about it is just going to bring more attention to his stuff. More people are going to watch the special that wouldn't have otherwise, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. Who's going to tell him he fell off? <laughs> I don't know. I hope someone does soon. Okay. Well, that's Dave Chappelle. 